What's up, everyone? My name is Troy from Tech Games, etc. And today, I have to tell y'all, I made a mistake. My last, this is this is part two of my loadouts for running gunners, and I think I made a big mistake in my last video. But before I get started, if you didn't see my last video where I uh, went like 21 and 14 in my Noob to Greatness episode, you can go ahead look in the uh, description box below for a link to that video. Now let's get started. Today, I had to make a new loadout video because, like I said in the title, the silencer is a lot more deadlier. Now, if we go to our, my creative class, and by the way, that's my soldier, by the way. There, there she go, yep. And uh, I, I'm, I, I can't wait till I press D so I can get her the blue uh, exosuit, which would, be, which would be awesome. But anyway, let's get to the creative class, okay? Now, for my creative class, my custom one, I, I, I'm dealing with this, I'm rolling with this from now on, I realize that I have to start playing with one gun so I can get used to it. I love the Ball 27, and I tried to do the same thing for the AK-12. The AK-12 is a monster long distance, especially with, especially with the silencer and everything. But I just like how I how I run around with the ball twenty seven. Now some people might say, "Oh, the ball twenty seven is overpowered." Blah 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 blah. This gun is getting a lot of flack from the community. I love this gun. I think this gun has firepower. It has stopping power. I still don't believe it wins every gunfight. I really don't. I I, I still believe that uh, some aspects of Call of Duty are flawed to where. The first one who gets down that site wins the match. I don't think guns make a huge difference, especially as, unless you get into the one-shot guns and stuff. But anyway, the Ball 27. Now, you can see I'm rolling with the Ball 27 right now. Now, the perk, leave my perks alone. And also, I have Remote Terror, a UAV. But let's stick to the Ball 27 for now. Right now, let's let's just exit out of all three of these, and let me show y'all why I went the silence route. I was watching Ali A play uh, Advanced Warfare, and he almost went undefeated until he ran out of bullets and switched to his one gun that had a sight on it. Uh, one of these sights on it, and he's like, oh, you know, these slow, slow sights. And I was like, wait a minute, what does red dot sights affect? I never realized what red dot sights effect because I'm always used to using them um, if y'all know if y'all don't know me by now I can't stand going down iron sights I have to go down uh, dotted sights it helps with my aiming but when I look at it I said this was the red dot sight that I used I gained accuracy but I lose handling handling is dealing with how fast you go down your sight but your but your accuracy improves. Of course it does. It makes sense. So I said, hmm, let me get rid of this because, like I said, I have to be the first one to shoot down a sight, get down my sight, shoot down, boom, let's go. I'm gonna play this game by the rules. Um, and also, I'll ex I'll explain more of that later while I'm showing y'all the clips of my new changes. But anyway, so the foregrip adds accuracy. Okay, so I went with the foregrip. I said, all right, anything that helps me handle better. I went with the foregrip, and I also went with the suppressor. And also I went with the quick draw grip, which would aim down my sights faster. Now, as far as the MP11 goes, I kept the suppressor. And the MP11 on suppressed, oh my God, it sounds mean. It sounds vicious. And also, I did a primary gunfighter so I can add an additional attachment. I left the perk lightweight. The score streak, um, my score streaks are UAV and remote tear. And my exo launcher is the stun grenades, which I highly recommend, highly recommend over, um, over uh, the regular frag grenades. I'm going to release a video later explaining that, but I'm going to go more in depth with the stun grenades and stuff like that, but that's it for a different video. Don't know. I'll have no exo ability, and when I go to the range, 
when I go to the range, I'm going about 27 feet. I'm uh, sorry, 27 meters. And if I go down site, look how easy it is to go down the site. Real easy, real quick. And this is 27 meters. And look how good that looks from far away. Now, I do lose accuracy with the suppressor, but I lose accuracy, but if you shooting long distances, you just got to keep in mind you can't always shoot long distances. It may cost you being vulnerable. And so that was just pretty much it. So while I'm showing y'all some clips of the match I was in, this is also for my new to greatness, by the way. I know I still have the red dot on. I, I did take it off after this match, but this was one of the good matches where I started using it, and I realized something. COD caters to casual gamers. Let's just be honest. And COD caters to the point where if you shoot without your suppressor on, you will be exposed on the map. And Advanced Warfare takes it up a notch because of the exosuits. And every time that I shot my weapon, I felt like I was getting shot just because of the radar. Like, if I'm creating a first-person shooter, you would have to go off of hearing, not the map. A lot of people live and die by that map. And so when I changed it, you see the footage right now. When I changed it, it was like a breath of fresh air. I didn't die as much. And most of the time when I did die, it was like, okay, they did get me. All right, all right, all right, all right. But that was something I had to uh, I had to, to keep in mind, and also dealing with the, the the gun itself. Be mindful of your distances. Sometimes you don't have to go down the sight to shoot somebody uh, that's in front of you. You don't have to go like half of what twenty seven. You look like thirteen meters, ten meters. You don't really have to go down your sight for that. And I realized that versus iron, uh, versus hip firing versus um ADS aim down sight total difference and also that's what the, the glory about not having a dotted sight I just have to get used to it but there y'all go man there y'all have it that's just pretty much my quick loadout uh, I'm definitely enjoying uh, advanced warfare a little bit too much I, this is my second loadout video like you know I'm loving this game like <laughs> But there y'all go, man. There y'all have it. Uh, tell me what y'all think about my new loadout. Um, and put your comments in the comment section below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It really helps out a lot. So I'll see you later. Thanks a lot.